Now we're going to begin activity five in our book on page 33. We're going to talk about the airbrush tool for this lesson. Now, the airbrush tool can be used to create backgrounds and other fill-in effects. So we're going to create a new 400 by 400 pixel image. File, new, 400, 400. Make sure it says pixels over here on the right, not inches. Has to say pixels. And you can have a, let's choose transparent background. And uh, let's call this, name it background. Name it background at the top, click OK. So we got a transparent background, obviously from the little checkerboard look. And we are going to choose the brush tool. Now the book says to choose the paint, the airbrush tool. Well, since uh, that version, they've been combined into one. And all you do is go up to the tool options menu to enable airbrush at the top. So you can enable airbrush. And gives it a, a spray at the top you enable airbrush at the very top right there now you can in the airbrush tool options bar you can change the brush size adjusting it higher or lower you can change the hardness higher or lower like how solid do you want that brush to look or do you want a little transparent around the edges or solid that's the hardness and you can choose different brushes there's also brush libraries of all kinds of different brushes by clicking on the gear. There are even like online pre-made brush templates that you can import and install for your Photoshop. Like I can choose this little leaf shape brush. Click OK. Spreads them out. This brush, excuse me, change the color and have different colored brushes. Leaves, I mean grass. Oh, I have a terrible cold. Check that out. It mixes between your foreground and background colors. So experiment with varying brush types and size and mode and pressure. And lower the flow. Lower the flow and it's not as hard. Lower the opacity, it could be partially see-through. So, if I want it, I could create a bunch of leaves, spread it out. Okay, when you're done experimenting, save this as background.bmp. So, file, save as. Format BMP and background. Save it in your lesson one folder. Click save. 
click OK, and then close background, and don't save.